Another thing we have here is the MVP manager where we're seeing that we have the app zone network and the management network created as well. And I'm going to go ahead and create a third network just now and we're going to call it our cross-platform network. It's going to be created in the base gear environment and it will be created in the MVP environment. So let me go ahead and hit refresh here. I'm sure I'll need to log in again. done is through the vShield manager will come and register the Nisera switch, the NVP switch. As we see here, the open vSwitch has been registered with its API URL. From the vCloud director environment, I'm going to go ahead and create a new network. And just to show I'm not tricking you, here's a refresh. There's only two networks. Let's create a routed network. We're going to leverage the vShield edge to be our gateway and provide gateway services, DHCP, NAT, firewall, etc across this entire network in both the vSphere environment and the Nisera OpenStack environment. So I'll choose the edge gateway. And let's go ahead and set up an internal IP address. I'm seeing this for the first time too. <laughs> Good to see. Let's go ahead and click next. We'll create what I'm going to call our cross-platform. Yep. So we're creating the network right now, and we're going to attach it to the V-Shield Edge. Let's give this just a second and I'll switch back to the Nisera platform. I'll go ahead and click refresh here and we'll see we actually have the cross-platform network created across both environments. The vCloud Director API has gone through and created the network in the vSphere world just as we've done in, in past releases. And we have now a network also created on MVP Manager on the Nisera environment. Now, I have created this management network earlier and I've actually attached VMs. You see we have seven switch ports that are actually connected to this network. And we can actually just walk through and do a quick check and I'll show you that we actually have VMs that are talking on this network between the vSphere environment and the OpenStack environment. So I'll go ahead and say, okay, we want to use the VXLAN gateway which is sitting in the vSphere world. And let's pick one of the ports on the, uh, in the OpenStack environment. This is one of the VMs I have deployed. So I'll go ahead and click go and we see that we have all green connectivity and we see that the service nodes are actually talking and have created the entire network across the MVP gateway sitting in the vSphere world and the non-vSphere environment right here. And what this shows is actually we have the ability to create networks and network services across both environments. Now to build upon this, we can switch back here to vCloud Director, go ahead on the network and go into the network services. We see here I've enabled DHCP on this network, the management network, and I have given some range for the DHCP address. Now let me switch back to my view and I'll open up a console back in Palo Alto. It's a bit of inception here with our virtual machines. And I have a Kimu console into the VM deployed in the OpenStack environment. I'll go ahead and hit I have config and we see here that we have a 192.168.1.11 address which is receiving a DHCP address from the vShield Edge deployed in the vSphere environment and it's going all the way through to this VM deployed in the OpenStack world. So you see where the possibilities are in this here where we're able to have gateway services provided across stack and you can leverage several of the vShield Edge services, the NAT, the firewall, etc. across stacks. So that's a quick demo showing the integration that we've done in the short one and a half days that we've uh, had the acquisition closed. So I'll switch it back. Thanks, Sergeant. <laughs>